In this video, let's understand what really is the difference between the pre and the post incrementations. Let's begin by considering a program. I'll create the variable A. I'll create another variable B. I'll put the data 5 in the variable A and I'm going to have a statement B equal to plus plus A. I want to see the output so I'll have the suitable printf as well as I'm going to enclose the program within the main method and enclose the main method within the class. I need to tell you as to what the output of this is but for the time being I'm going to compress it and just push it aside. Well the statement that I really have to explain is this statement. But even before I move ahead and explain, let me tell you in common English the meaning of the word pre and post. Pre stands for first and post stands for later. Now in programming, particularly with respect to incrementation and decrementation operators, what pre and post really means is that pre means we are going to increment first and then use the value later. Whereas in case of post, we are going to use the value and then do the incrementation later. This is all is the point that one needs to know in order to evaluate any such expression. Now, whatever you have understood, I'm just going to apply it. As all of you know, we have created a variable A and not just that, we have also placed our data 5. Now, how does this statement work? Please notice that we have a pre-incrementation here. And because of that, you know I need to increment and then use. That is what is the technique that I have told you. So, let's just apply the technique. Increment. So, increment is the first operation. Hence, I am going to increment use is the second operation so i'm going to use that value six and obviously b gets that value six well if you don't believe i'm just going to call back that program and when i execute this is the output so you can see a is six b is six same is the case hope you have understood how the pre-incrementation works. Now, let's understand how post-incrementation works. In this program, I'm just going to send away that expression which had the pre-incrementation and I'm going to bring back the one with post-incrementation. But for the time being, I'm just going to compress this and push it aside. Let's focus on this expression, the post-incrementation version. And as you know, we have created a variable A and not just that, we have also initialized it to 5. And now, you know this is the post incrementation version and hence, first I will have to use and then increment. I am just applying the technique. I have to use, so whatever is the data available, I would be using it. So this job is done. Next, I have to increment. Obviously, I would be incrementing. And this 5, obviously it's going to get into B this way. If you want to check, I'll call my program back. And when I'll execute, this is the output. Same as what we've got. So, I think through this video, you've been able to understand as to how the pre and the post incrementations work when there is an assignment operator in the expression. In case you need to understand as to how to solve more complex expressions, watch my next video.